Let's proceed to do the programming for the sliding swing and sectional motor. Once we have the door halfway unlocked, we will remove the power supply. With the power off, hold the start button down, reinstate the power supply and release the button until the first LED of the top lights up. To open the memory, we will press the start button for 5 seconds until all the 5 LEDs at the top of the panel light in flashing mode. We will press the start button and the gate has to close. If it opens, press start again immediately and the gate itself will reverse the movement and, automatically, will make a closer, an opening and a second closer. Once the door makes the second closer, we will have the motor programmed with the soft stop, both when opening and closing. This control panel, unlike many others, is equipped with Ampero Stop. The Ampero Stop is a very important safety feature, as it is a reader of consumption and in case of finding an obstacle, the control panel reads that excess of consumption and makes the motor stops and reverse the movement immediately. This element, along with the encoder, gives complete security to the motor. To record the remote controls, we will press the upper left blue button and automatically the green LED from the blue indicator and the first red LED from the 5 on top will light up. We will press the button on the remote control we want to record and when it receives the signal, the remaining 4 LEDs that were turned off will light up as a sign of having recorded the remote control. We will repeat this procedure as many remote controls we have. To record a new pedestrian entrance, we will press again the blue button and the second LED from the 5 above will light. We will press the second channel of the remote control and the other 4 LEDs remaining will light as a signal of having received the transmission. We will repeat this procedure as many remote controls we want to record. To close the memory, we will press the blue button or wait 25 seconds. If we want the gate closes after a few seconds, we will press the upper right yellow button and immediately the green LED of the yellow indicator will light. And pressing the buttons of more or less from the top of the control panel, we can give more or less automatic closing time. To save memory, we will press the yellow button again or wait 25 seconds. For adjusting motor power, we will press the lower left red button and the red LED from the red indicator will light. Once entering to the memory, the upper LED from the control panel will light, indicating the degree of force of the motor. We can press the more or less button for adjusting the force we give the motor. To close the memory, we will press the red button or wait 25 seconds. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate in contact us.